Hey, this is Old Newbie from the Old Newbie VR Show, and we are back in VR. And today, we're doing our next in series of Windows Mixed Reality feature sets. Now, this particular feature set I want to cover, it should be pretty quick, um, and it's response to some questions that I see on Reddit with regards to the Windows Mixed Reality controllers. Now, I've been seeing a lot of questions about how the controllers connect, what are the features of each one of the controllers. So I'm just gonna run through really quick the Windows Mixed Reality controllers that are available for Windows Mixed Reality and their features. So the first controller we have here is the Windows Mixed Reality Reference Design Controller. As you can see, it's got a thumbstick, it's got a touchpad, it's got a menu button, and a Windows button. On the side, it's got a grip button, which is not analog, it's two functions, just up and down, it's binary, and it has a analog trigger. As you can see there, as I slowly depress it, it goes down and it tracks the trigger motion up and down. And within the controller, it actually has a rumble-like function. Now, it's not a vibrate function, it actually has more of like a joystick type of rumble, but it does the job and it helps with immersion. And so this is the reference Windows Mixed Reality controller, and it connects with Bluetooth. Now, the next controller that came with Windows Mixed Reality is the Samsung controller. And as you can see it right here, I have a Samsung Odyssey Windows Mixed Reality controller. And in comparison with the reference controller, they have exactly the same functions. They have the joystick, they have the touchpads, the menu buttons, the windows button, the grip button, which is not analog, and then the trigger buttons, which are analog. The only difference between the Samsung Odyssey is ergonomically, and you can see that it has nice rounded edges opposed to the the reference controller which is kind of boxy and stick like this one is nice and round and smooth and also on the inside the haptics in this controller are not rumble like this one this one actually is more akin to a cell phone vibrate or a cell phone buzz and it is in my opinion it's kind of subjective but it's a, a lot more um, pleasing to the feel when you feel this thing buzz in your hand as opposed to this reference controller which kind of has rumble now on a side note you're seeing that I have two separate controllers connected to my headset and that's correct Windows Mixed Reality can actually allow you to connect two separate controllers of different types and that includes which we're gonna cover next the HP Reverb G2 controller which is different from these controllers but each one of the three types of Windows Mixed Reality controllers can connect and be connected interchangeably and simultaneously. And with that, we'll move on to the final Windows Mixed Reality controller, the HP Reverb G2 controller. Okay, now the final Windows Mixed Reality controller is this controller here, and this is the HP Reverb G2 controller. Now, as you can see, it has completely different functionality than the reference design and the Samsung Windows Mixed Reality controllers. And we can start with the obvious. There is no trackpad on the Samsung GT G2 controller. They replaced the trackpad with these buttons, the A and the B button, and then on the other controller, it's X and Y. And so all that's left on this controller is the joystick, the buttons, now it has both of the menu button and the windows button, but as you can see, they're actually located on the area where the joystick is located. The other difference between these controllers is that the grip button is analog. Now, they need to change the animation here, but the actual grip button is analog, as well as the trigger being analog. So that is a change in function, whereas the reference controllers just had a simple um, up and down button click. The grip button here is actually analog. And other small design changes, you can see this controller is much more short and stubby. 
and and really the design is reminiscent of the oculus quest controller with the two buttons or the oculus rift touch controller and that was pretty much you could tell that was what the hp was going for when they designed this controller um, to make it similar to those two controllers and one of the reasons why the grip button is actually analog so in certain games you can actually simulate gripping um, and the movement of the fingers it's almost like gives you a tracking of the fingers moving up and down in your grip rather than just being open and closed um, it actually tracks the position up and down now unfortunately with this controller that caused a lot of uh, developers to actually have to design for this controller specifically whereas previously they had the reference design to Windows Mixed Reality and they made a lot of programs that were fit for and designed for this controller to have trackpad and and all of the functions included here and now this controller comes along and they have to redesign and re-include um, this special functionality for this controller now for games that were designed for the Quest and the Rift, um, I, it was pretty much easy for them to cut those over, but for games on Steam VR, perhaps that were designed to include Windows Mixed Reality and this controller, there were a lot of issues with um, mapping these buttons over to uh, the Windows Mixed Reality controls that they had programmed in. And so there you have it, the three different controller types that are available for Windows Mixed Reality. The HP Reverb G2 controller, the Samsung Odyssey controller, and the Windows Mixed Reality reference controller. Now, it's up to you whether which one is your preference. Personally, I like the Samsung Odyssey. Now, I have a HP Reverb G2 headset that I'm wearing right now and my preferences for the samsung odyssey controller mainly because and you probably heard me say it before the trackpad i prefer the trackpad over the buttons because the trackpad is multifunctional the buttons you're only going to get the the button um, function out of it the, the single press but this trackpad can do multiple things it can scroll it can actually depending on how you program it you can make this thing be two buttons where you, you depress the trackpad and in the upper position and that's a button you depress the trackpad in the lower position and that's a button and you can even add in more functionalities you can add dial wheels and you know it's up to your imagination on what you can do with the trackpad with the buttons you're only limited to just the button press and and this was actually built in and developed for as a windows mixed reality controller the original function of the windows mixed reality controller was developed for to have this functionality of the trackpad the uh, the grip button and and the like and everything that's in the reference controller what was not designed for in the windows mixed reality platform was this controller and this is unique to the hp reverb and so all of the programs and, and things that were already out that had compatibility with Windows Mixed Reality actually had to be updated and reprogrammed for and remapped for this controller, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, that's why I actually use the Samsung controller with my Reverb G2 headset. And that's one of the things, again, that the Windows Mixed Reality platform will let you do. You can use these controllers interchangeably, which is one thing that a lot of people didn't realize. And the final thing is the Bluetooth connectivity. The headsets that actually have Bluetooth built in are the HP Reverb G2, the headset that I have now, and the Samsung Odyssey. Those two headsets were um, brought to market as premium Windows Mixed Reality headsets. So they had Bluetooth built in, they had audio built in, they had mics built in, and then they had the manual IPD adjustment. And so those headsets were marketed as premium headsets to compete with the Vive and uh, the Rift at the time, and a higher price point too. But they actually had those, uh, those high speed Bentley type functions. And so that's it. So hopefully that uh, helps somebody out there 
uh, understand the controllers that are available from Windows Mixed Reality, what some of the functions and features are, and you can make a decision as to which controller you like better because now you know that these controllers are actually interchangeable on the Windows Mixed Reality platform. All right, that's all I have, and I'll see you in VR.